Okay, so I'm going to start this and I already did the sanding, I did some of the sanding in that little area where I've got to re-solder the lead. So I just want to make sure that that's all clean, that there's no paint in that joint area. Um, we don't want to put the, the solder on top of dirt or paint. So we kind of just file it down with some steel wool. Um, I looked it over pretty well. There's um, not a whole lot of areas that need to be re-soldered, but there's a couple. We just want to make sure that everything is strong, because the last thing we want to do is put this in the greenhouse and have an accident where the window gets broke or the glass falls out. So, so we're starting here. Okay, so now the next thing is, I've sanded those areas down pretty good. I got three little spots that need to be um, soldered. And we need to put this um, flux on those joints prior to prior to soldering that. And right now my solder iron is warming up. It needs a temperature of about 570. So this is the next step before we go into soldering those, those weak joints. And uh, just put a little bit of the flux in those areas. And then close this back up. Put this on pause while I go check the check the iron. Okay, so my soldering iron is the right temperature. So we take the, the solder, and this is a combination between aluminum and lead. We just take this. I have nobody to film this for me, so it's kind of can't really see it, but how this goes on. Just want to kind of, I think you can kind of see this. But I got it kind of, kind of thick there. Kind of move that out a little. Kind of play with it a little. You can kind of see where I soldered that, and we have this little spot right over in here where it was a little bit weak in those joints. Okay, there we go. I had to play around with it just a little bit to get it get it good. Okay. So the joints that needed a little reinforcing. This one was just a real small one here. This one there. And then a small area right there. Now we can get ready to cement. Alright, now is the glazing putty. Day for stained glass. So we're going to be glazing in between, right in all those little crevices in there. And that's what's got the glass kind of kind of weak. We don't want we don't want movement in the glass. We want it to be strong. 